Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know, and welcome to Vlogmas day one. I cannot believe we're already here again, but we're keeping it a tradition that day one is officially the start of decorating for Christmas. So we're up. First up, I think it's Target. I don't really know where we're going with the day. We're gonna be less blue this year. I think we're gonna focus more on gold and silver, which is like the vibe it was, but just a little less blue. So that's what we're going with. I We're that's just gonna go and see what we find. I still had a normal Christmas. To her, that might be normal Christmas because like that's like her aesthetic, but yeah, we're gonna slowly but surely change <laughs> our change that aesthetic, especially next year. Okay, since silver and gold is not the traditional Christmas colors, what is your color scheme for Christmas that you decorate in? It has to be red and green. white and red. Oh, no, no, no. white and red. It's white okay. and red with like hints of green because like think about it. Your Christmas tree is already green. Well, so like, mine's white. Well, yours is white. But like <laughs> a traditional Christmas tree is yeah. obviously going to be green, right? So like you really focus on red, white, um, and just like, I don't know actually, what else? The red tree. to me is just such a bold color. It's hard to like incorporate anything else or like to but have it just <laughs> match things. Santa's suit is oh, oh. red <laughs> I get that like literally it's like Christmas is literally color. all about red and like white like I, green I know, like, green I could get behind a nice black white and green aesthetic could do what? red to me is just a lot white and green yeah we'll work on it no We're getting there. that is crazy <laughs> comment down below today's question of the day we're gonna try to do this every day of vlogmas I'll probably forget by tomorrow but Question of the day, do you decorate with traditional like red and green colors? Or are you more of a different color? And comment down below red what and white, color red and white. you decorate with. Anyway, come with us to Hobby Lobby. I don't know what we're gonna get. Please repeat what you just said about this. What, I like that a lot, I would definitely buy it. No, what did you actually say? I put it in my room. <laughs> he just, oh, she no, has no Christmas spirit. He just no, likes no. the tacky Christmas thing. No, what do you mean, how is that tacky? That is actually- I like it, the I, pretty looking Christmas thing. You things. have the most tacky things in the apartment. Like. That is just nice. We're making progress. We're reaching mutual decisions. Look, <laughs> mutual decisions. We think we like these stockings. They just look so cozy. They don't necessarily match, but they don't not match. So like, you can't go wrong with them. They don't have a matching dog one, which is kind of sad. I just think gray is the most beautiful color that we're gonna get. Everything right else, here. yeah. Like, everything else is just very this? colorful. No, yeah. I have to document this because he just picked out something teal. It wasn't even me. Yeah, because we had no choice but to make it the same aesthetic. But you picked it out. He said, oh, that's really cute. It would match everything. It would. Would it not? It would, but I didn't even pick it out. So I'm just letting the people know that it's so not just me. <laughs> you know, it is you. I had no choice but to, like, add to it. They kind of let me down, not gonna lie. We got a good amount of stuff. Everything was 50% off, which is, I don't understand it as a store, why you would make Christmas decor 50% off at the peak of Christmas, but not mad about it at all. Ended up spending $60 here. My sugar daddy is uh, paying for the day because we did the pen and cup challenge on our like TikTok account at the Justin and Gabby TikTok. And I said, if we go to Target, I get to pick out all the Christmas decorations and you have to pay for them. And I got it in, so. Well, That's how we today's going. Yeah, we weren't at Target. <laughs> but I still said that I pay for it, so. You're the best. Yeah. But now we're going to Target. Hopefully Target pulls through because I really thought Hobby Lobby was going to have more. But I believe in Target. It's just going to be a lot more expensive. The arrived. motherland. Oh, look at it. Honestly, even just at first look, they're kind of popping off. This stuff is cute. Yeah. Um, All right, guys. Somehow our color scheme has now switched up to gray. <laughs> No, we're starting to make it work. Obviously. We're just gonna incorporate it all. Damn, all of it. I really wish they kind of sold this so we could kind of just like place they it do. around the house. That's, that is, oh, like the actual jar. The actual <laughs> jar. It's mother fork and haul time, baby. Let's go. So, first up, look at this cute two piece set from Target. She's so cute and festive. So that was the first thing we picked up. I'm already wearing it, but super cute, super comfy. Definitely recommend if you find out your target, 10 out of 10. Um, we're gonna start with Hobby Lobby, I guess, cause that's where we first went. So first up, these were the stockings that we picked out. Of course they ended up having these almost exact same things at Target with the letters, but honestly for like double the price. So balling on a budget, baby, we decided the color scheme shifted a little bit throughout 
Cloud is very intrigued. Um, we're going more for like, instead of a silver and gold, it's like a gray gold and like little accents of teal. I hope it's gonna come together. <laughs> he is going crazy in this right now. Hello, that's not a bow, crazy boy. Um, so, this color is kind of like the gray color that we're incorporating, but these just look so cozy. And I think they're gonna look really cute on the wall. Look at him. <laughs> Next up is this picture, which I'm very excited for. Definitely screams like a Hallmark Channel movie, but if you guys remember when we were decorating for fall, we got the skeleton picture. I'll put a picture of it right here. And it says, Love Never Dies. And we were looking for something to replace that picture with on the wall. And this says, Love Never Melts. And we thought it was so cute. One, it has the teal color, so it like kind of incorporates everything. But it goes from like, Love Never Dies to Love Never Melts. And I was like, it's a sign. Like, we need that one. It just goes perfect. So, and then we got two sets of lights. So these are just like the normal mini regular like white lights don't really know where these are going to be honest um these are like the icicle hang down looking ones we plan to put these over the blinds of our balcony door hopefully that works out um i'm decorating all by myself today because justin's at work and no one tell him this but i'm really excited that i'm decorating by myself <laughs> because i have a vision and i can just make it however i want and then he can just come home and be surprised and have no idea what the whole process was like but like, I get to kind of do whatever I want, so I'm a little bit excited. Next is this cute little one. Honestly, I don't remember getting this. Just little Merry Christmas. I feel like these are always good. It was also like five bucks because anywhere where there's like a dead area, I feel like this can just go, even if it's in our room on like my dresser. But to be honest, yeah, I don't remember getting that. Next, we have this white like garland tinsel looking thing. We got two just in case. The plan is normally I frame my mirror with white lights and like a teal tinsel, but it also only drapes to like here when the whole mirror goes to the floor. So I'm thinking by incorporating white instead of teal, it'll help brighten everything up. It'll be less teal. And hopefully because these are long enough, it'll go all the way to the floor. That's the vision there. Is that it from Hobby Lobby? I believe so. So next up was Target. We first got this ornament set which i think is perfect because it has all the like darker gray silver colors i have so many ornaments from last year of gold and teal so i can definitely already have majority of the tree be that and then incorporate these colors so that way everything kind of ties in together cloud is going crazy he doesn't know what's happening right now what is it buddy it's christmas time it's christmas time this one is almost like a blanket material i think cloud's gonna love it because i think well great he's Biting the t tassels. Hey, you. We made it through all of Christmas last year without you destroying a single ornament, okay? So the, the decorations are not for you. Then we got a, what is this? Merry and Bright Signature Soy scented candle. Uh, kind of like a vanilla kind of smell, but it's gold because I have a vision for the island and it needed a gold candle and we didn't feel like stopping at Bath & Body Works. So we just got a cheap Target one for now. And then we got these tinsel lights. And the last new thing is this pillow. I was looking on Amazon for a whole bunch of pillows and I was like, I can't even order them because I don't know what vibe we're going for. So this one is like that gray again. And I think I'm gonna keep these out with this and then also bring the old pillows back out because they're white and gray. The teal might be a little bit much, but we're gonna play around with it. That is everything that we got this year. I already have a ton of Christmas decor from last year, so I'm gonna get that out, get the tree out, and pack up all the fall decor that's out. Look at this dog right now. And then we will be back and we will start decorating. I am so excited. I've wanted to do this literally the entire month of November and we've just been so busy. So we're finally getting to it, buddy. It's finally Christmas time. Let me know why I have a small tree and I have too many ornaments even fit in that suitcase. They're all in here. Please, someone at the end of this season next year, remind me to put the ornaments in a bag and then put them in a box. They were all just a free for all in the box. So I had to dig around every single one, but we found the rest of our decorations from last year. So I have them all here. And then there's also all the tinsel here, some other random things here. I think that's everything. The first order of business is going to be the island and then the picture up there because I know that's a for sure thing. And then maybe the stockings, um, I don't know. So let's get to it. It's super cute, super Christmassy. I love the tinsel around the wood because it's just like, ugh, tis the season. We're gonna go hang this picture up now. We didn't have a 
the mistletoe and we somehow couldn't find one at Target and Home Goods. So I ordered one off Amazon and it just got delivered. It's so cute. It is a little bit heavier than I expected. We really want to like hang it to the ceiling, but I'm a little bit nervous now because I was gonna just hang it up with like a tack to the ceiling, but I don't want it to like fall and then shatter. Okay. That's gonna be a Justin task when he gets home because I can't do it. We kind of accomplished that. I will say these are very cool toned lights and the rest of the lights around the apartment are not. I don't remember, I think my tree has more yellow lighting as well, but it adds variety, I guess. I think it is finally tree time. There's little things that need to be done, but I think I'm gonna save that for the end and I would rather get the tree situated and then kind of figure out where else things should go. taking so long I started when probably like three hours ago we're only just now out of the tree fantastic it has been maybe an hour and a half this took forever I still don't love it I feel like there's still holes but I've been looking at it too long that like I don't even know what to do with it at this moment so we have a ton of ornaments left over so I think when Justin comes home I'm gonna be like what can we do with it and see if he thinks of anything other than that I think we are pretty much not done, but we're at a good stopping point because I have to go to practice in literally 30 minutes and I look like this and I also need to eat something. So I am going to see you guys later whenever we do like the mistletoe and the finishing touches and then I'll give you the final reveal. Okay, I'm back home. Justin has not seen anything yet. He is about to get home. I know I didn't do the reveal for you guys, but I'm going to wait until like literally everything's done because I'm going to ask him for help on some things. I still need the mistletoe hung up and like little things. So you're still going to get the full reveal, but I'm literally like tracking his location because I want to get his reaction. So enjoy. Hey, babe. Hi. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's Christmas in here. It is. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Okay. So it's really good. Thank you. And it is now finally time for the grand reveal of the decorations. I am so happy with how it turned out. It has been so cozy in here at night. Well, just honestly all day. We pretty much have the lights on all day and the lights have been off pretty much the entire time except right now just because I want better lighting while I film. But it came together so well, I'm obsessed with it. And praying that this is the last time that we have to decorate an apartment, but I'm very happy having this be the last time. I feel like it really came together. So here we go, grand reveal. So first thing when you walk in, the mistletoe is here, obviously to have you like kiss under the mistletoe right when you walk in, you know? This thing is so cute, love never melts. Then here is the whole Mirror decor, it looks so good. I'm so happy we switched out the blue with the white and that it goes all the way down to the bottom of the mirror. I am obsessed with it and I love the reflection of everything. So happy with the stockings. I ended up just covering the light switch, like I said, and honestly, I've like barely even had to reach for that light switch. So it has been great right there. Now coming over to the kitchen, I'm obsessed with how this middle like centerpiece turned out. The tinsel around the wood, I feel like really brought it all together. I just love the, the gold, the teal, everything together looks so good. Then we also have some gray dish towels there. We have this one to kind of bring all of those colors together. The little Merry Christmas thing there because it hides the ugly like fruit basket and stuff. And then honestly this fa la 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 just didn't have anywhere else to put it. So it's there for now. We got some stockings there because I feel like this area was just like missing something. But super cute. I really like how this turned out. Then. Let's go over here. We finally switched out the happy fall with a little all I want for Christmas is you. I am very proud of this. Uh, it took me pretty much all day one of the days, but love how it turned out. We just finished filming our intro, so he still has his little cloud bandana on, but he looks so cute. The tree skirt is so much better. I love the like blanket look of it. Honestly, very happy with the tree. I did not have to redo it at all this year. I think that's a record. We still got the typical same decorations with like a little bit of gray in there. This I think is pretty similar to how it was last year. Season's greeting, the little ornament there, the Mary, kind of a little bit of all the colors, especially with the YouTube plaque kind of also brings the silver in there. And I think the living room is what I'm very happy with. So 
The pillows that came together, all the colors, that blanket is so cozy. This little center console, also so cute. So much better than last year. I added way more, so it, like just way more Christmassy. And our fake little mantle, obviously we have the fake fireplace going, but adding the stockings onto that little garland and the fairy lights made a huge difference compared to last year. Same ornaments, kind of same setup as last year with the little tree. And these have fallen about 12 times, but I think we finally fixed it. So we have lights above the blinds. And that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna turn the lights back on because obviously, like I was saying, this is how lighting looks when I record. But sitting there all day and all night and just having these lights on has been so cozy and nice. That now officially brings us to the end of Vlogmas Day 1. I can't believe we're back. Get ready for so many fun videos. And with that being said, please leave a comment down below what videos you want to see because I have about 24 more that I have to film. And with my crazy schedule, a lot of them have to be centered around certain things because all my days kind of look the same. So I can't do a typical like vlog every day, post every day type of thing. But there's going to be a video every day regardless, depending on what you guys want. So. Make sure you give this video a big like, comment down below, subscribe, turn post notifications on, all that. Get ready to take on this journey with me again. Get ready for lots of content, video every single day until Christmas. I don't know if I'm ready for that, but I hope you guys are. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.